Hi, this is Kevin with Garrison Dental Solutions, and today we are with Dr. Matthew Najad, beautiful Beverly Hills, California. My first tip has to do with getting the matrix band in the right position to get the best seal. So lots of times you come in and when you place this matrix band in, let's look at this tooth right over here. So we come in to place the matrix band here and the gingiva prevents us from getting the band all the way down. So watch, I place this in here and I have the matrix band bumping into the gingiva on the palate and on the buckle. So what I like to do before I place it in is either pre-bend it or place it on the tooth and give it a little bit of contour to begin with. Then as I come in to place it, I actually try to get it to go into the sulcus, not just interproximally, but also on the buckle and lingual. Sometimes I'll even trim a little bit away if it's too long, because you know the further we go, the harder it is to get that to go into the sulcus. But in this case, it should be fine. And you can also bend just a little bit back so I get a better path of insertion here. So I come in here and try to use my fingers, but if I have any issue, I can use an instrument, such as this blue instrument here, and guide the matrix band into the sulcus, both buccal and lingual, especially when I use rubber dam, same thing. I like to get it between my rubber dam, so move the rubber dam out of the way, so that when I let go of the rubber dam, it's actually giving a really nice tension there. That way I get a really nice adaptation and um, very, very low chance of getting any contamination, saliva, anything coming through here.